Hello and thank you for joining View TV Abroad. After following this tutorial we are sure you will be completely satisfied with our service. If you have any questions, comments or are still having difficulties, please contact our dedicated support team via our contact page on our site. This tutorial will now show you how to set up and start your new ViewTVAbroad.com service with Windows Vista. Click on the Start menu and then select Control Panel. Select Network and Internet. And then select Network and Sharing Center. From the list on the left hand side, select Set up a connection network. From the next list, select Connect to a workplace and then click Next. Now select Use my internet connection. Now enter the address of the server you wish to connect to. A list of all the available servers can be found in an email entitled Welcome to View TV. In the destination name box, enter UK1 server. You can use any name you wish as long as it is easy to remember and clearly shows which server you will be connecting to. It is important to remember that if you wish to watch US TV outside of the US, you will need to enter a US server's details in this box. You will now be prompted for your username and password. These can also be found in the email entitled Welcome to View TV. It is important to remember not to copy and paste your username and password from your email, as this may cause errors. Also ensure that there are no spaces before or after your username and password. After entering your username and password, select the box to remember your password and then click Connect. After the connection has been established, a new window will appear, asking you to describe the new connection. It is recommended that you select Home. Then click Continue. You are now connected and can start to watch UK TV abroad. Simply open up your internet browser, head to viewtvabroad.com and select one of the TV channels from our list or visit the TV broadcaster's website directly such as BBC iPlayer. When you are finished watching it is easy to return to your normal internet connection. Simply click on the network icon on the bottom right of your screen, click connect or disconnect, select the network connection and click disconnect. When you wish to watch UK TV abroad again, or you log out or shut down your computer, you will need to connect to our servers. To do this, simply head back to the network icon on the bottom right of your screen, select connect to a network, and then select the server you wish to connect to. We suggest that you set up multiple connections. This will reduce errors caused by editing the settings each time, should you wish to change server. To set up another connection, simply follow the steps just covered, except this time, change the descriptive name so your connections can easily be identified. For example, you could set up another UK server, or even a US server, should you wish to watch US TV outside the US. As shown here, we have connections to two UK servers and one US. It's simply a case of selecting the connection you wish to use and then clicking connect. As well as this, we suggest you create desktop icons for each connection. To do this, head to the start menu, then control panel. Then click network and internet. In 
select Manage Network Connections. Right click on one of the View TV Abroad icons and select Create Shortcut. Then click Yes. Once you have followed these steps for all of the network connections you have created, simply double click on the icon on the desktop and you will be connected to our servers. To disconnect, simply double click again on the desktop icon and an option will be presented for you to disconnect. Thank you again for choosing View TV Abroad. We hope the tutorial was easy to understand and allowed you to easily set up View TV Abroad. You can now start watching your favourite TV shows wherever you are in the world. If you are unsure where to go next, please see a tutorial how to view TV when connected. However, if you have any questions, please contact our support team via our contact page on our site. Thank you.